Hey guys, it's Abby and welcome back to my channel. I thought it would be fun to do a patriotic like Memorial Day inspired makeup look. I love holidays and I love any excuse to do a crazy makeup or outfit or anything for a holiday because I'm goofy like that and I think it's really fun. So I thought since it's Memorial Day weekend I'd film a tutorial on this very patriotic inspired look and if you'd like to see how I did it then keep watching and let's just jump right in. So I'm starting with my Smashbox Photo Finish Primer and I'm just rubbing this over my face, especially where I have large pores and tapping it in. And now I'm going in with my number seven Airbrush Away Foundation in the shade Wheat. And I'm just gonna use my Ulta Beauty Sponge and I'm just gonna tap this in all over my face. And this sponge is damp. It's so much easier to use it damp. It really blends everything flawlessly. And I always make sure to blend down my neck and in my hairline. And I don't know if you can tell, but I have an insane line on the base of my neck where I have been fake tanning. And it's all peeled and faded off in this awkward line where it's really obvious so don't mind that and I already did my eyebrows off camera before I started and now I'm going in with my Morphe concealer in the shade Oats and I'm just going to draw big highlighted triangles on my face. I'm going to go around my nose a little bit. Around the mouth, the chin. Do my nose and my forehead. And I'm just going to blend that all in with my beauty sponge. I really like how this concealer blends out coverage and how it feels. And it smells like a nice vanilla cupcake. I just like that. I'm trying to be real careful with my eyebrows. I usually don't draw them before I do foundation and stuff. So I'm like, eh, don't wipe them off. Now I'm going in with my number seven translucent setting powder. And I'm just gonna set my whole face. I'm an oily girl. I always set my whole face. If you're more dry, you don't necessarily have to do that. It's all about preference. I like to set everything. And now I'm taking my beauty sponge again and I'm going to bake my under eye area with the translucent powder. Just so if we have any fallout when we do our eyes, it catches it and it'll just brush right away. Now we just brush a bunch of powder off of myself. <laughs> now I'm taking this Morphe color correcting wheel and in the very center is a pure white concealer and I'm just going to put this as my eye primer all over my lids and it'll prime it just like I do with any concealer I put down when you set it it'll keep the eyeshadow from budging but since it's a white base it's also going to intensify the color shadows we're going to be putting down today I'm just being really careful to be precise where I put this because I'm not a pale person, I'm tan, so it'll be really obvious if I've got this stark white. So I'm just kind of putting it into a winged eyeshadow shape where I like my eyeshadow and I'm patting it out with my finger to diffuse it into the skin nicely so it's not very obvious and scary. Now I'm taking my Urban Decay Full Spectrum Palette and I'm going in with the white shade to set that concealer 
and the white shade is called bump and it's just matte white it's like the only matte shade in this whole palette everything is shimmery and has glitter for some reason but a lot of the shades have just little pieces of glitter and when you blend them out it all goes away so at least that's nice because sometimes i don't want every color on my face to be shimmery <laughs> Now I'm going in with my Morphe 350M palette and I'm going to go in with this warm brown shade. I'm using that as my transition color. I'm just going to put that on the out outer corners of my eye and blend that all through the crease so we have that as our base color. So even though I'm going to be doing a bright colored eye, I don't want full on insane pigment. I want pigment, but I still want to be somewhat toned down. So that's why I'm going to be using this brown as a transition shade. And now I'm going to be going back into the full spectrum palette. I'm going into this bright blue shade called Blindsided. And I am going to pat that all on the outer corners of my lid. And I'm going to try and build up the pigmentation as best as I can. And I like to very carefully kind of draw the outline of a wing shape with my eyeshadow to blend it in that direction. Because I like it to wing upward and like open the eye. So now I'm just really carefully taking a fluffy brush and I am blending all the edges, being really careful to keep the eyeshadow where I want it. I don't want so much blue across my entire face. I'm just going to do that on both sides. And now I'm just dipping back into that brown shade. I have it laid on my desk so I didn't show it. And I'm just smoothing out all the edges, blending it seamlessly. Next I'm going into the shade Metamorphosis, which is more of a periwinkle blue. And... I'm just going to tap this all on top of that bright blue base we put down. And I'm doing the exact same thing. I'm just going to keep blend, tap it on and blend it out in the shape I want it. When you do looks like this with really bright shadows, you just got to be real patient because you got to build up the intensity really carefully or else you can look like a hot mess real quick. So it's just all about the patience. And next I'm just dipping into that blind sided shade once again the really bright blue and layering that on top to brighten it up and we're going back in with the fluffy brush and blending it once again you know the drill i chose a different fluffy brush this time though this is a ColourPop one because it's more dense so it'll move around less product than the other one that was super fluffy because i want to blend out the edges but i want to keep as much pigmentation as possible at this point Now I'm going in with that brown transition shade once again and we are blending out the crease so everything transitions very smoothly into the brow bone and I'm blending that down a little bit into the V2. Now I'm going into the shade Minx which is like a navy blue and I'm putting that on the very outer corner V just to darken it up. I'm not going to drag this into the crease and I'm not going to drag it into, um, I'm not really going to drag it too much into that shadow wing I have because I don't want it to be too dark and crazy. I'm just going to keep it as much as possible in that outer very corner. And just blend it out. And I'm using the denser fluffy brush again so we keep as much pigmentation. Now 
I'm going back into my color wheel and I'm taking a little flat small small concealer brush and we are gonna cut the crease so I'm only going halfway I'm not doing a full cut crease and we're just gonna lay down that white about halfway following the shape of the lid And then once I get it where I want it, I kind of pat it out with my finger so it diffuses nicely. And now I'm going into that shade bump again, the white shade, and we're going to set it. And now we're just going to do the exact same thing on the other side. Now I'm just taking that brown color once again and we are blending everything nice and smoothly in the crease. And I'm going back into the bright blue shade and patting just a little bit more on the outer corners to make the um <laughs> make it more pigmented. And I'm taking the fluffy brush and just really carefully blending in it. Okay, my camera stopped filming. It hates me. But while we were doing that, all I did was I added the shade Iced on top of the white, which is just a very pale silver sh shimmery white shimmer shade. And then I cleaned up my brow bone as well. So now I'm just putting a, this ColourPop liner in my waterline it's bright blue it's really pretty and I believe it's in the shade let's see it's in the shade prance and now I'm taking my Smashbox and decent exposure mascara and I'm putting that on And now, just really quick off camera, I put on lashes. These are the Just Slain lashes from Violet Voss. And now I'm just going to bronze up my face. And this is the Marc Jacobs Omega bronzer in the shade Tantastic. I really like this bronzer. It's awesome. And it smells like a coconut tropical island. So who doesn't love that? So I'm just bronzing up my cheekbones where I will contour my um, temples my jawline and I'm gonna put some bronzer where I've got that real terrible um, faded line on the base of my neck where my fake tan is coming off and now I'm just gonna take my beauty sponge and my number seven translucent powder once again and I am just going to bake under my contour to sharpen it While that's sitting there, I am going to take my, yeah, I'm just going back in with that bronzer. Almost got ahead of myself. And I'm just going to contour my nose. And I do a little bit under the lip just to make it look a little poutier. But I blend it out real nice so it doesn't look like it got dirt smudged. And now we're just blending out the nose contour. Next, I am going in with my number seven blush in the shade Peach Velvet. And I'm just gonna put that on my cheeks. Also, I completely forgot to say this. When my camera stopped and I was cleaning up my eye look, 
I also took our brown transition shade and just run that on the lower lash line. Nothing complicated, just that. And now I'm going in with the Spellbound Glow Highlighter from Tarte. And I'm going to put that on the brow bone as a highlight. And in the inner corners as well. And for this, I'm just using, this is like a rainbow highlighter. I'm just using the pale champagne and golden colors mixed together for this part. But when I highlight the rest of my face, I'm mixing all of them together. And just putting that on my cheekbones and above the brow bone. And I take the excess from that and I put it lightly on my forehead and chin. So there's a slight glow and use my finger to do my nose and just brush it out a little bit and then the cupid's bow of course can't forget that now we're just going to brush away that contour um bake and i'm just going to blend it all nice and seamless and now i am taking the morphe liquid lipstick in the shade hot shot a bright red because can't be American without red and we're just gonna put this liquid lipstick on I just ordered these for the first time this is my first time using one and I really liked the formula it reminded me a little bit of the ColourPop formula now it's done I'm taking the morphe prep and set setting spray and I'm just going to set my face if you've been watching my videos you know the drill I set it and I tap it in with my beauty sponge to get it really soaked into the makeup and so we don't have any powdery looking skin whatsoever and now we're done and this is the finished look so I hope you guys enjoyed this video and tutorial on how to get this patriotic Memorial Day inspired look. I know it's a little out there. It's not really wearable. It's kind of crazy. Unless you like crazy and you want to wear that out. But I thought it would be so fun to create. And if you're just doing anything like a party, this could be fun. And so, yeah. So if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Please subscribe and comment future video ideas for me or just what you think. I'd love to hear. And thanks so much, guys. Bye.